Hello there and welcome to the new video and in this video I want to show you this website workoutwednesday.com This website is an amazing website to find the exercises that is related to Tableau and Power BI. So Tableau is something, uh, it's been the challenges or the exercises being published from a long time. But for Power BI, it started. they started publishing the challenges from the uh, 2020 starting of 2021 right so you will see that in challenges if you are let's say you want to go and uh, pick up the tablet challenges you can come here but for power bi challenges you can come here which is basically what i want to show in this video as you can see they we they have recently published this 2022 week 14 on april 6. okay so these are the challenges that is in Power BI and the whole idea of these challenges as you can see down there from 2021 week 1 they have started publishing this is to gain uh, is to practice your Power BI skills and gain more knowledge and sometimes you may not aware about some of the features which you know they somebody let's say in the community have developed it and they want to put it here for others to recreate it. So something what I also find very interesting uh, to to practice the skills or to find the new information. So that's this is something which uh, in my mind was uh, from a long time to share with you because even I come here and uh, sometimes I take up the challenges whenever it is published but not very frequently. But what I'm going to do is I will be basically explaining or basically I will be going through all of these different challenges which uh, have been published so far so 52 challenges for 2021 if, if they have let's say for every week and uh, so far over here they have what 14 or 16 challenges 14 challenges right so all of these challenges we can go step by step now if i go to the power first challenge over here you will see i will just show you uh, a quick introduction where they are introducing this Workout Wednesday, they are mentioning that they are already having a Tableau version of it. Uh, they release a new challenge every Tuesday, right? And the hope is that, that you will take the data set and fulfill all the requirements in this blog post, right? So over here, they show you the final output, like what the output really looks like. Here, they talk about the requirements, those five and six. And over here, in my videos, what I will going to do is, I will also tell you a couple of more things what I find it as an interesting that we can add to these requirements and something that on a day to day basis a Power BI analyst or a Power BI developer should know. So something where I will add on a couple of my own requirements so that uh, in this video you just not get you know these requirements but something more than that and that's that's a whole idea we we go through this and uh, try to see more challenges in the data and or more compelling visualization or something which will add it up to this and get math maximum out of it and then here they have the data set right here they have uh, shown you how you can show uh, you can share your uh, output like after you finish your workout share it on the twitter with the hashtag wow 2021 one of those things which i keep saying to anyone who is coming to me and asking whether i can how can i get a job let's say in tableau or in power bi or anywhere so you need to basically see a communities like these right where new challenges new projects are coming in which are which may be sometimes small sometimes big practice on this share it with the community and who knows tomorrow you may have a job in hand because many people are coming in and, and doing the submission, right? So there may be a job hunter, there may be the your, uh, uh, you know, uh, your colleague in terms of who is also submitting the, uh, also submitting their, uh, their challenge can become impressed by your challenge. Let's say if you have done something more and uh, can offer you the job in your organization. So something, you know, where community really uh, thrive when they help each other. So something which you can do also they have a submission tracker which you can go through uh, which basically count as a participant in the given week also they show the solution as well um, of the challenge so i think uh, what they do is they post the requirement and after that maybe once the submission timeline is over they publish the solution video as well okay so that's something what it is and 
Before I go ahead, I will just show you one quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel, what I usually do is I have this live Google sheet, which I keep uh, in all of my Power BI related video description so that you can easily come over here. And uh, so far, as you can see, I have published close to 196 video. So four more to go for 200, right? Double century. So, so all of these videos is something what I publish. Video link is present here. This is just to give you uh, a flexibility in terms of searching a particular video that you are interested in. For example, you want to see how you can connect your Power BI with the MySQL and import data. If this is something you are finding a struggle, then you can watch this video and see step by step how you can do it. So this is something what I call feature explainer, like what are, what are the Power BI feature in terms of connection, in terms of visualization, in terms of tags, also the many dashboards that I published. For this week, uh, Workout Wednesday, I am keeping a different tab so that uh, you can have, you know, exercises specific videos. So I can probably push uh, or probably publish the uh, week, uh, workout awareness day exercise as well as my own exercises, right? So something which I can probably say as exercise, right? And uh, I can call this as workout awareness day exercise link in case if I, this is related to the workout awareness day. Okay, so this this video is basically one connecting to and modeling data. So that's something I will connecting to. And so usually I do all of this thing before uh, starting the video, but this since this is the first one, I thought of let's let's go ahead with you. So connecting to and uh, modeling data. Video link I will publish once it is uh, published. But then we can have this link and I will just keep publishing it over here. That way you can easily uh, find this out. Okay, so with that information, what we will do is look at this challenge. Okay, so the challenge is that um, over here requirements, because this is the first one for Workout Wednesday Power BI style, we are going to start simple. Uh, create cleaned data set with only teams from football ball division. In order to do this, the FPS conferences field exclude the FPA total and null values. Okay. And uh, the data set is over here, right? I think uh, I have, no, I don't have the data. Um, so over here, data.world website. Right, the link which has been given here, you can download. If you don't have the login, you need to create a login. I already have the login, so I can just simply go ahead and download. Uh, this data is added by JBOC, Spencer Box. So, or sorry if I'm uh, pronouncing this wrong, but I it's asking me to follow it for now. No thanks. And we have it here, and let's save it. Okay, so over here, let me save it. And I will go into this file, open file. And uh, we have this, and we have this data, right? So, but the only thing is, um, if I go back over here, week over week, I will just right click and extract, extract all. Right. I will just not keep this because what I know from my experience is it will create the same folder again. Just say extract. Yep, as I expected. Now I can just delete this. Where are you? Here. And here we have the data. So if I, so we have these three tables, finances fact, conference dimension and school dimension. So all of these we need to basically bring in. So based on the challenge, because it is simply our workout Wednesday Power BI style, we are going to start simple, create a clean data set with the team's football ball division in order to do this in FBS within NCH move all this. So first thing first is we need to connect it, right? 
and uh, to connect it let me bring the power bi which is here okay so power bi is something we are opening it up so let's give it a minute and uh, there you go um uh, close it um i think it is a excel workbook if i'm not wrong let's see week over week not this one but this one where we have the data okay this is an csv file probably so i will go and get data text csv over week this file data and we will going to open this up well this is your uh, first of all column one and column two as they are not coming um, delimiter is comma transform the data we will just click on the transform data and uh, we need to make sure that first row is a header so this is the power query editor as you can see when we click on transform data this is the window you will will open and you need to click on use first row as header right and close and apply then we will going okay it is doing the changes so let's wait for a couple of seconds now we will again go here we will get the finances facts okay this time it has picked up the columns correctly so we will simply say load right and uh, then we will bring the third table that's csv school dimension and yes it has the columns so we'll click on load right so why I'm, what i'm doing is i'm just loading all the tables because if i go here uh, we need to create a clean data set based on this so all of these changes we will do it again it is asking to create a data model properly relating to the two dimension tables so up to us like whether we want to bring all the data or we want to clean this up right so that's something uh, what we will do so first thing first what i'll do is have these have this as modeled and uh, for this create a model and then clean up the data or you can change it so let's go to where are you power bi here you are okay so here first thing first i want to show you okay this is what the table is coming like right and you have it has already identified the ipes id over here ipes id and then you have something which is FPS conferences, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, over here. So what I can do is bring the FPS conferences over here and it creates the connection. So the way we can do this is something like this. We have these two dimension table. We can just click or we can hover over. We can see what are the related columns over here. Okay. So now we have this let's do a bit of a cleaning and uh, then then we will move in that direction but the first thing first is our image is something coming like this if you are not able to see let me expand this up finance is fact school dimension conference dimension so something we can do like this right okay so we have this now let's see the requirements i think it will be quite clear <laughs> with this uh, zoom in create a clean data set with only teams from the football bowl division okay let's go to transform data right this is the conference this is a finance and here we have NCA8 subdivision. So you have uh, football bowl division. You have a couple of other values like conference median, FPS median. So let's uncheck that. We don't want that. We don't want that. We want this football bowl division. 
we don't need football championship subdivision we don't need no football subdivision right so all of this thing we don't want because it's instructed that we need only football ball division and click OK. As soon as we click OK, a step has been added that we have filtered the rows. So if I go back, uh, OK, here, I create a clean data set with the teams for the football ball division. In order to do this, in the FPS, FPS conferences field, execute, exclude the FBA total and null values. NBCCA subdivision FPS conferences is over here. So here, what do you have? Looks like we have already removed it. But if you want to roll back, like let's say in this case, I don't want to apply it over here as per the instruction, but on this one. So we can just click this and all of our values will come back. So that's something, you know, uh, very easy it is to, to follow here in Power BI. So in FPS conferences, we need to exclude FBA total and null values. Okay, FBA conferences, we don't need this. We don't need FPS totals, click OK. Again, filtered rows are come, have come, which is related to FBS conferences. So now it has been removed. Within NCSA, NCAA subdivision column, remove all conference media. All right. NCAA division, remove conference media. Click OK. So ultimately, we are coming to the same thing. I just did it over here, but first they are asking you to do it over here and then here. Create a data model properly. This is something we have already done it. Try to use the least amount of steps as possible. Okay. This is what we have done, right? So we covered a couple of things like we have seen use first row as headers. We have seen how we can very easily filter this data and we can subdivision. Once you are done, you need to make sure that you are you are not crossing like this and you are but you are clicking on close and apply. Once you close and apply, your changes will come into an effect over here, right? So now with this you know, there are some more things or some more problems what I see in this data. And uh, that is for this, again, these are some additional steps. First thing is, let's look at the those blank rows. For example, if I go here in the data, you have finances facts. And I'll show you because I was reviewing this data. And that's why I did my exercise a little bit. Uh, yes, so in the entire screen, what I want you to view is just the blank rows, right? You can see that there are these blank rows, okay? And uh, so what I've seen is when the total expenses is missing, most of the values are missing. So that means what I want you to do is remove wherever the blank rows are present under total expenses, okay? So that's one. So let's go to Power BI and click on transform data. And again, in the finances fact table, we will come here in total expenses and we will uncheck this null, right? Whenever, when we do that and all the values will be filtered, right? And we'll only have the known blank value. So that is what I want because this is something it does not make any sense when so many values are missing it just add unnecessary noise into our data so that's something one of the very first thing next thing is uh, let's just check whether our data set is properly so right now it has observed it has observed correctly like all of this is numerical value but if you want uh, you can format it like what is a data type it's a currency and all it's something you can uh, either do it here or you can do it in the front end as well. So the way you can do this is by coming over here and you can choose like dollar, this one. That way you will have it like properly formatted in the way you want. So total expenses, currency dot type. So this will become like currency type. This is whole value. Again, you can make it like fixed currency type. You have many others in case if it is a different uh, different value altogether.
So, so over here, you need to just click on this icon. So this is something you can additionally do these one or two more steps into it. Okay, so I think this much is uh, sufficient for our first exercise uh, that I wanted to show you. And uh, now we will keep uh, meeting uh, in our in, uh, about these exercises in our future videos. So make sure you join me and uh, we will learn not only what is being given there, but more than that. And that's why I wanted to make sure that uh, I, I specifically mentioned that and highlighted that uh, along with exercises, we will have more fun with more number of exercises. Thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.